up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold penny i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2025 kia sorento hybrid courtesy of fred beans kia in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and i am actually very excited about this one this thing gets excellent mpgs especially for an all-wheel drive three-row suv you do get america's best warranty as well being five years 60,000 mile bumper to bumper 10 years 100,000 miles on the powertrain you cannot beat that here in the u.s pretty solid interior quality as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a couple different trim levels for the 2025 sorrento hybrid first one being the ex starting at thirty-eight thousand six hundred and ninety dollars then you have the sx prestige all-wheel drive which is the one we are in today starting at forty six thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars but regardless of the trim level that you go with the power plant on the sorrento hybrid is going to be the same powering the beast is a 1.6 liter turbocharged four-cylinder hybrid powertrain putting out 227 horsepower 258 pound feet of torque that power being sent to front wheels or all wheels to a six-speed automatic as far as mpg numbers go get ready 36 in the city 36 on the highway for the front wheel drive then for the all-wheel drive 34 in the city 34 on the highway that is amazing taking regular unleaded fuel so you get to save money with the cheap gas too so you gotta love it but before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our sorrento hybrid did want to mention to you guys the drive modes so there's a little circular dial located just behind the uh the shifter circular dial i'll get more into that in a second but drive modes are going to include eco comfort sport smart and snow adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so real quick before we do the acceleration test the circular dial it's a glass circular dial it looks absolutely amazing it's so buttery smooth when you turn it to the right to put it in drive turn it to the left to put it in reverse and the center p button is going to be putting it in park of course but it's such a high quality shifter it reminds me of the or four shifter by volvo it's such a cool look i wasn't expecting to see that i haven't reviewed this car in a while but anywho i'm getting off topic let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2025 kia sorrento hybrid here up to speed all right found us straight away here in three two one go a little bit of a delay okay yeah a little bit of delay at the beginning but dang this thing goes after it kicks in man this thing definitely gets up and goes so not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway um it's kind of surprised to see that little bit of delay at the beginning i know it's a turbocharged engine a lot of times you get that but it's also a hybrid typically with hybrids you don't get that delay but nonetheless still plenty of an acceleration for merging onto the highway so I actually really like that, so no issues there. But anyhow, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.8 inch ventilated front discs and the back 12.8 inch solid rear discs. As far as that braking feel goes, it's okay. It's a little bit on the softer side of things, but the best part about the braking in the Sorento Hybrid, let me tell you guys, you may have noticed there are paddle shifters here on the Sorento Hybrid, but they are not for actually shifting through any gears. They are actually for regenerative braking, and there's three different levels, and let me tell you, it's a pretty brilliant system here in the Sorento Hybrid. Now, it's not like a full one pedal drive system or anything like that, like a lot of electric cars, but it definitely makes a substantial difference especially in that level three system like i said there's three levels if i take my foot off the gas it's gonna bring me to a pretty substantial slowdown i want to see if it comes to a complete stop and it doesn't it, it slows down to like eight miles per hour but that is that's pretty substantial because that's going to save you on brake pads in the future so i love that so this is a very very nice regenerative braking system when i got it turned all the way up to level three so that's pretty darn cool i didn't expect that but Anywho, then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get an independent McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today. So definitely not having is any issues there. As far as steering feel goes, it's 100% on the loosey-goosey side of things, no doubt. One of the loosest steering feels I've felt in quite a while. So keep that in mind. Let me actually see if I put it in sport driving mode here. 
it does make a difference. So you do have a heavier steering feel in the sport driving mode. So if you wanted a little more playfulness on the back roads like I am going on right now, put it in that sport driving mode. But I will say the normal driving mode, the eco driving mode that I am leaving it in here so far, it's definitely on the looser side of things. So just keep that in mind. As far as cabin noise goes, it's actually been really, really good. This is a pretty darn serene cabin for not being a luxury brand. And that is due in part because an acoustic laminated front windshield does come standard on both the trim levels of the Sorento Hybrid. And if you were to go with the SX Prestige trim level that we have today, you also get acoustic laminated front door glass. And that's typically even an added feature on luxury automakers like Mercedes-Benz I know. So the fact that you get that on the SX Prestige, that gives you a very, very serene cabin so very luxury like on the interior we'll get more into that interior later on in the video but touching on rear visibility it's actually really good even with the third row up and those headrests i can see perfectly fine out the back so definitely not going to have any issues there and again if you go with the sx prestige you're also going to get rain sensing windshield wipers touching on forward visibility so that's going to automatically turn on the windshield wipers for you whenever this thing detects any kind of mr rainfall it's kind of like automatic headlights just one less thing you got to worry about there but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2025 Kia Sorento Hybrid. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2025 Kia Sorento Hybrid finished in snow white pearl. Very cool name for an exterior color, if you ask me. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Sorento Hybrid is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter K, indicating that this one is built and assembled in Korea, as it should be in my personal opinion. But let's go ahead and start up front. Gloss black front grille will come standard on the Sorento Hybrid. To the sides, LED projector headlights with LED daytime running lights also coming standard, along with the automatic feature and actually automatic high beams as well. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So got to love that. But also coming standard, you guys can see in the bottom portion of that front bump, there led fog lights yes coming standard for all trim levels as well so gotta appreciate that and then down to the bottom corners there you guys can see there's front air curtains it's going to help direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics but anywho that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and swing around to the side. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of this one, roof rails do come standard for both trim levels, of course. Chrome window surrounds also coming standard along with rear privacy glass. Got that silver accent found on the front fenders. That looks pretty darn good in my opinion, at least. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals as well. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. These are pretty stinking cool looking wheels. Get 19 inch alloy wheels with with the machine finish it's a two-toned kind of finish it's the machine finish in gloss black they look different they look like nothing else on the road so very good wheel design um well done kia but anywho that pretty much rounds out the side profile so now go ahead and swing around to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of this one all the way to the top you are going to find a body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper but you're probably asking where is the rear wonder wiper? Because it's not asphyxiated to the rear glass, or I know that's not the right word, I'm sorry, but anywho, it's tucked away underneath, affixed, I think is what the word is I'm looking for, but it's tucked away underneath, kind of like the Chevy Suburban, kind of like the Chevy Tahoe, that kind of a setup. So that's kind of cool. I like that look, but LED taillights, of course, do come standard. So added illumination at night there, so people are less inclined to run into you. I like the kind of aluminum or silver tr trim finish found in the bottom portion of that rear bumper. That looks good as well. And then just below it all, you will find a single exhaust outlet it is tucked away so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next this is a hybrid so i'm not 100 percent if this is going to work but we're going to give it a shot as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the Sorento Hybrid here, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is actually a hands-free power tailgate for both trim levels. So that is pretty darn cool. But there's a button on the key fob. There's a button on the tailgate itself then as well. But 
Once opened up, cargo capacity behind that third row comes in at 12.6 cubic feet. Of course, the third row does fold down, bumping that up to 45 cubic feet even. Then with all rows folded, 75.5 cubic feet. So a decent amount of space there. And by the way, there is a 50-50 split and there's actually buttons in the uh, cargo area to fold down that second row for a little added convenience. So that was pretty cool too. But 12 volt power outlet back there for the SX Prestige. You're also gonna find a 115 volt power outlet as well. There's actually a dual level cargo floor. And if you're looking for a spare tire versus the fix the flat, this one actually does have the spare tire. Um, the spare tire is located underneath of the vehicle though, and all the tools are located kind of within the in floor storage there, but that's where everything's located. So then make your way up to the third row legroom that comes in at 29.6 inches for reference. I've been even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in that third row. Dual rear USB charging ports actually do come standard back there. So you got one on each side. You got to love that. Of course, you got cup holders and you have rear ventilation then for all three rows as well, which is pretty darn cold. But then make your way up to the second row legroom that comes in at 40.7 inches. That is substantial. For reference, I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in that second row there. Captain's chairs do come standard, by the way. That surprised me. I liked that look. USB charging ports found kind of on the back side of the two front seats. There's a 12 volt power outlet as well. Rear window sunshades coming with the SX Prestige. You guys know I love that and rear heated seats also coming with that SX Prestige as well. So pretty darn cool. A lot going on for the rear passengers there. But now let's go ahead and make our way up to the front seats. Syntex upholstery for the EX, leather seating for the SX Prestige, 10-way power driver seat with two-way power lumbar for the EX, 14-way power adjustable driver seat with four-way power lumbar and two-way thigh extension for the SX Prestige. That's nuts. Power adjustable passenger seat coming standard, heated front seats coming standard, ventilated front seats for the SX Prestige that we have today. Overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was plenty fine in my short little test drive here today. Let me actually test out the power lumbar and it is plenty adjustable. There is a lot of adjustment there. So yeah, my short test drive def definitely didn't have any issues. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is going to be leather wrapped. It is heated for the SX Prestige trim level only. So that is pretty stinking cool. Then make your way to the startup. Let me show you guys this stinking cool key here. You got kind of the Kia logo on both sides, but ultimately all the buttons are located on the side of the key. So you got the lock button on the very top unlock and the button to pop the rear tailgate there. But then the remote start is actually on the side of the key as well, but it's on the other side of the key. So that's pretty cool as well. And that comes standard by the way on both trim levels. So it is all keyless entry though with the push button start for both trims. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, Analog gauges with the four inch screen are gonna come with the EX trim level, but then the SX Prestige that we have today is gonna to give you this 12.3 inch curved digital gauge cluster. It looks pretty stinking cool, but of course it has everything up there since it's digital. It has outside temperature. You get and check out your driving modes up there if you wanted to. Um, there's speedometer, tachometer, of course, a digital speedometer. There's your compass up there as well. There's so much you can scroll through up there. Got safety features. It looks like uh, trip A, trip B, of course, and the list goes on. It's digital gauges. It's got everything. Now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A panoramic sunroof is going to come on the SX Prestige. That is still optional, by the way, though, on the EX if you really wanted to get it. Suede headliner for the SX Prestige. Just one of the first things I noticed that was pretty darn cool. LED interior lighting, SX Prestige. Aluminum sport pedals, SX Prestige. Metal accent trim, again, for the SX Prestige. So quite a bit for this trim level that we have today. Wireless phone charger, though, does come standard for both trim levels. That's located just in front of the cup holders and shifter here. Got a little bit of rubberized storage next to that, a couple USB charging ports. To the right of that glass shifter, which I think is still st so stinking cool, you got your cup holders, a little bit of storage there, electromechanical parking brake. Then within the center armrest, a ton of space within there. So gotta love it. The interior quality is really done very well. So most manufacturers of vehicles in this class will leave things like a matte black or a matte gray plastic. And you guys know that's not my thing. So there's a little texturized finish just in front of the door handles here. You got a grab handle on the doors, nice stitching through the doors as well. And everything surrounding the shifter and the uh, wireless phone charger and cup holders is all finished in gloss black. I love that too. Another cool thing is to turn on the uh, interior lighting, the LED interior lighting, you just tap the light. So there is a button, but I think the cooler way is to just simply tap the light effect 
found that pretty cool. You also have a frameless rear view mirror with home link controls for up to three different garage doors. That is also very nice. So really the interior quality is stellar. Like they did an amazing job with the interior quality. Like you would think you're sitting in a Genesis or something like that. That's just a wonderful job. But anyhow, let's now go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen. There is a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display. And that does come standard for both trim levels, by the way. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, which is by the way, wireless for both trim levels. You gotta love that. Factory navigation system up there as well. There's some cool hybrid information where you can check out your hybrid statistics up there. So. I like seeing that. Got your weather information. There's a voice memo system so you can record your voice and play it back at a later date. That's always nice as well. You got your maintenance information and so on, but also your radio information. So let's check that out now. When it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. The EX is going to give you six speakers and then the SX Prestige is going to give you a 12 speaker Bose sound system. So that is the one that we have today. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today. And let's test out our Bose sound system that we have with us here today. Plenty fine sound system for what this vehicle is for sure. Plenty of bass, crystal clear. I think that was the most uh, obvious on that sound system. So for an SUV, you can't get much better than that. Now, Bose is an extremely reputable company as well. They've been around for forever, I feel like, at this point. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen, though, and this is wild. This is the first time I've ever seen this. When you do put the Sorento Hybrid in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. That's not the wild part. The wild part was when I put it in reverse through the shifter, the shifter vibrated. The shifter vibrates every time you put the vehicle in reverse. That's so crazy. I've never... Never seen that. I've never felt that before. So that's pretty stinking cool. And then you got the surround view monitor, of course, for the SX Prestige as well. But that is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the Sorento Hybrid is an IIHS top safety pick. So that's a wonderful start right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. You got a driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you got rear side impact airbags as well, which by the way is a $700 option on Mercedes. So I love that. Also in the back, latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Blind spot collision warning, forward collision avoidance assist, rear cross traffic alert, front and rear parking sensors coming standard. That's crazy. Lane departure warning, lane keep assist, lane following assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, which is a wonderful system on all Hyundai and Kia products, and then speed limit assist as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of this one, I, that reverse vibrating shifter, I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. So I got to note that first, a vibrating shifter when you put it in reverse, that's kind of crazy. And the fact that it's a glass shifter as well, it's just nuts. I love that, but very good interior quality that kind of leads me into that because I didn't expect to find such nice finishes. The suede headliner, the glass shifter, like I was saying, the nice stitching found in the doors. The interior quality is wonderful in this thing. Also, the regenerative braking is really, really good in the Sorento Hybrid. Like, you probably will not have to change the brake pads in like forever on this thing if you really didn't want to because if you leave it in that level three regenerative braking, this thing almost comes to a complete stop down to like eight miles per hour and then you're just cruising and then you hit the brake. So that's gonna save you a lot of money on brake pads there. As far as room for improvement goes, of course the third row is gonna be a little bit tight because overall cargo capacity is 75.5 cubic feet. Typically you get the more comfortable third rows when you hit the 87 cubic feet number like the Honda Pilots and the Toyota Hyundai Highlanders or the Kia Telluride since we're driving a Kia of course and then again the only thing in the back of my mind is the turbo hybrid reliability I'm not sure what the reliability is I didn't look it up feel free to grab a consumer reports magazine or do your own research on that but anything turbocharged I'm always kind of hesitant on in terms of reliability I know they've gotten better though I'm just saying but let me know what you guys think of the Sorento hybrid in the comments section below that's about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews because that's what we do here in this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold